Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Beard. Today we're going to be going over how do we test the Honeywell 5800 PIR Res. This is Honeywell's Pet Immune Motion. Yes, it is a passive infrared motion detector. And uh, today we're going to be showing you how to test it. So to start off, this, this sensor here, right out of the box, as soon as you pull the battery tab or as soon as you insert the battery, you're going to see, let me go ahead and open it up. So you may not be able to see the red light during the video because of the studio lights that we have, but whenever you first get the sensor and you install the battery or connect the battery to it, the sensor goes into a 10 minute test mode. Yeah, you should see a red light come up on it. That red light will be there for about 10 minutes and it actually goes into a 10 minute test. So basically, let me figure out how to put this back on. Sorry, there we go. So it goes into a 10 minute test. So if you guys are looking to just test the motion, looking at where to mount it, you guys can either pop first power it on or you guys can just remove and reinstall the battery. Anytime you remove and reinstall the battery, it initiates that 10 minute test mode. You can mount it up wherever you like, walk around the house, wave your hand in front of it and see if it blinks red. It blinks red every time motion is detected. Yes. Now the motion has a 35 by 40 coverage and it does do up to 80 pound pets. All right. Now there is one important thing that you guys need to uh, realize between the sensors test mode and the systems test mode. So right now I actually have this learned into the L7000. The sensor test mode is done by removing the battery and reinstalling it. The system walk test is done by you going into programming. So to do that, if you're at the home screen, you do security, you hit more, hit tools, enter in your installer code. Mine is defaulted at 4112, yours could be different. I'm gonna go hit test and I'll do walk test. It's gonna ask you for your code. I enter in my master code. Give me one second. Okay. So, sorry, I actually exited out of it. I must have pressed it twice by accident. So I'm gonna go back into tools, programming, 4112, test, walk test. Sorry, yeah, so what I did was I accidentally went, to, I hit it again really quick to disarm it. So now you should see at the top, it'll say walk test and it says press home to quit. What I wanna do first is um, this allows you to put your system into a test mode and you can go around opening doors, sensors without worrying about setting off any alarms and the system will chime every time. So for instance, you see this door, it chimes every single time. The motion, Every time I walk by it, it's transmitting to the signal that there I'm setting it off. Yeah. So not only do I have the sensor in a test mode, I also have the panel in a test mode, which is causing it to chime every time I wave my hand in front of it. So to exit test mode on this, you press the home screen and you enter in the code one, two, three, four. You want to enter in your master code for that one. Mine is defaulted at 1234. Again, yours could possibly be different. Um, so that's one way that you can test the motion. So you can either install it, remove the battery, put the battery back in. It goes into a 10 minute walk test. It blinks red every single time it detects you. Um, you can also make sure it's transmitting to the panel. You can put the panel in a walk test while this is still in test mode and the system will chime every single time you cause the motion to trigger. Now, one important thing that you guys need to understand about this motion is that after the 10 minute walk test mode, these motion detectors now go into regular mode and they act as normal motion sensors would, which means that they have a transmission lockout. What a transmission lockout is, since these motion detectors are uh, meant to last about five years, again, it could be less or more depending on how often you use it, the transmission lockout allows the battery to, to save battery life. So instead of always powering on and consuming a lot of battery, 
it uses a transmission lockout, which means that it only detects or it only does one fault per three minutes. So after the 10 minute test mode, the system goes into regular mode and it only faults once every three, three minutes. What that means is that if it's in regular mode, I walk by it, it notices it, it won't blink red, but then it stays, it goes into like a sleep mode, let's say for three minutes, and then it comes back on. So this is very important for a lot of people whenever you're testing it. If, if, if it's out of the test mode, the 10 minute walk test, when you first install the battery, it does have a transmission lockout. So if you're waving your hand in front of it, it blinks red once and then you try it again 30 seconds later, it's not working. That's because it's in a sleep mode and you need to give it up to three minutes to try it again. This is especially important if you guys are actually testing it by arming the system. So for instance, right now I'm gonna go ahead and I have it here. I believe it's still in the 10 minute walk test mode. So it's gonna do that. Now, one important thing, let me put this back down actually. <laughs> going to keep faulting because it's still in the 10 minute walk test um, something important when you guys arm the system keep in mind motions are usually active when you arm the system away yeah if you now these systems they have an auto state feature what a lot of people do they'll arm the system they'll wait in front of their panel until it's done arming and then they'll test it what you guys don't realize is that since auto state is is enabled because you didn't open up an entry exit door, the system knows that nobody left the house, so it automatically goes into an armed state. So it's very important when testing this out that you guys make sure it actually says arm away. So whenever you guys do an arm away and you guys are testing it for inside the house, make sure that you guys um, do an arm away, enter in your code, open up an entry exit door, that way the system goes into an arm away mode, and then you can test the motion. I'll show you guys right now, right? Um, so I'm gonna do an arm away. I'm gonna use my master code, one, two, three, four. It gives me 45 seconds to exit the house. Now, I'm not gonna open up my entry exit door because I want you guys to see what's gonna happen when I, when I, when I don't do that. It, it's gonna go into an arm stay. So it's gonna go 30 seconds more. And you guys, again, it's gonna go into an arm state. This is very important for those of you who are testing this at home by arming the system. Yeah? So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3 seconds left. Here we go. And you'll see at the top, it says arm stay. Arm stay, it knows nobody is at the house, or I'm sorry, it knows that there's still people in the home so by default, an arm stay usually disables all the motions. There is another feature called arm night stay where, where you can do an arm night, night where if you do arm night stay, you can actually select certain motions to be armed during an arm stay. This could be used if you live in a multiple floor home and uh, let's say you know that nobody's supposed to be downstairs during sleeping hours, somebody walks past that motion, that motion will be active since it's in an arm night stay and it'll set it off. But that's a different feature. Yeah, so we have an arm stay. I'm gonna go ahead and do a disarm, enter my master code. Now, let's do the arm away. Again, this time, we're gonna open and close an entry exit door. And then I close it back up. Now, if the system read that open and close, which it should've, because I have it programmed in, the system now should go into an arm away. I'm just gonna do it one more time just in case. Okay, so it did read it. As you saw there, it was about at 10, 20 seconds. When I opened the door and closed it back up again, it restarted it back to the top 45 seconds. So now it's gonna go into an armed away, which now we can test that motion. And since I have the motion set to interior follower, as soon as I that motion detects my hand or my body, you're gonna start seeing the system's gonna go into an into an alarm state right away. I'm gonna get a disarm for you guys though. So let's give it a couple of moments. And again, as long as my sensor is in the 10 minute uh, test mode, 
or if there's if it's not in the transmission lockout i think it's been past the 10 minutes uh, i haven't triggered it or anything so it should work right away we'll find out right now there we go yes so i disarm it one time all i i was i had the motion facing the wall when i flipped it around it noticed my body and it caused um the automatic alarm and you'll see it says alarm cancel remember when you do get an alarm you have to disarm twice good so again remember guys there's multiple ways to test that motion you can remove and reinstall the battery puts it into a 10 minute walk test you can put the panel in a walk test mode while the sensor is in a test mode and you can hear the panel chime. You, If you already have it programmed in, you've had it for a while, you want to make sure the sensor is working, do an armed away, open up an entry exit door, close it, give it up to three minutes, especially if the motion detected you. Remember, there's a transmission lockout. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you test a 5800PIR res. If you guys do have any questions, reach out to us through email. Our, our email is support at alarmcare.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and enable notifications so whenever we upload new content, you guys do get notified. I'm George. I'll see you guys next time.